Okay, I am out. Take the mask off my mouth here. By the way, you don't need to use a mask if you're walking out in the open air. At least nobody's told me you need to, just when you're around people. In any case, I am, uh, uh, this is COVID, COVID time, in case this thing extends, this video extends beyond the COVID epidemic, uh, pandemic. In any case, uh, what I'm doing now is I've been trying to get in shape, uh, basically as a COVID defense. Maybe the, in the hardier shape I'm in, the more likely I am to survive it if I ever get it. So far, I don't believe I've gotten it, but since it can be asymptomatic, who knows? I could have had it half a dozen times. In any case, uh, I'm out walking around. Um, since I have room to walk in my present circumstances, basically what I'm doing is I break down the components of my workout into into separate pieces. Uh, I consider 10,000 steps a single portion of a workout, which I've already done today. I'm going to try to get an additional 10,000 steps. Sometimes 20,000 additional, so it would be 30,000 steps for the day. But I'm not going to do that today unless the weather is extraordinarily good and I'm extraordinarily energetic. The weather does feel a lot better than it did this morning because it was 30 degrees when I got the first 10,000. So I'm going to get 10,000 more steps, get 20,000, and then I have two more components to make up. I can do an hour. Well, an hour would be a third component, and that's sufficient for a day. But quite often I try to get four. So if I can get 30, 000, if I can get say 20,000 then I would have, you know, maybe an hour on the stationary bike, an hour on the aerodyne bike, and then that would make four hours of exercise for the day. If I get one hour or less of, uh, of walking, if it's really icy cold, or if it's snowy outside, which has only happened once so far this year uh, in Texas, and it didn't stick, then I would be forced to do two hours of, uh, of say, a bike or aerodyne bike, and then maybe a, an additional uh, mus uh, muscle building or isometric, isotonic, or machine-based. Very simple, since I'm sort of in transit here. So it just, it's basically, like I said, a component. I've got 10,000, I'm gonna try to get 10,000 more, and then I'll be able to get, say, another, that would be two quarters. Then I get a third quarter, which would be probably be being on the uh, Aerodyne bike, and potentially two hours on the Aerodyne bike, or two hours on a stationary bike, traditional stationary bike. So that's basically what I'm doing trying to maintain my uh, my health and keep it uh, bolstered up for the uh, unfortunate condition of the society right now. And uh, I've signed up for uh, getting the vaccination. Hopefully, when the uh, government changes, vaccinations will become more easy to get and more readily available. We'll see. All right, this is a quick look at the uh, some of the uh, resistance equipment I've got. I've got a lot of equipment. It's all in storage, and since I'm in a transient position right now, for the next month or two or three, you know, you know, I'm, when I get a, I'm gonna get a place, get get everything right. But until then, I've got to use some make do things. I've got these uh, most of them off of Amazon, surprisingly enough, and basically these are very t various types of resistance equipment this is a this is a squeeze type thing that I can I can put both arms on her I'll show an example of using it probably later but that that is something I can use to sort of build up chest and some degree arm strength this is a, a, a classic power twister it tends to be very weak I can actually hold it right here and bend it to get more pressure out of it but they have some powerful ones uh, with various strengths, 
I want to get in the near future. You know, maybe since I've done those before, I'll probably get one that's up near the top of the strength meter, which I don't know. I don't. I can't remember exactly what it was, and then get one slightly below that, and then use it, because I can actually. Uh, this is a this is a power twister as well, and they both have the same basic functions. But this one you can get, you know, measured uh, results. And I've been able to use this, I guess it'd be hydraulic or, or uh, pressure. I've been able to close that at full power, not often. And it takes a lot of effort, but it will close. Not sure if that's my strength or if there's just some weakness that eventually allows me to get it closed. But I just want to give you a quick look at this. This is another part of my access equipment. Over here, i got a jump rope. I also got some of the very expensive cross ropes uh, this is not one of them this is one of the there, there's a lot of generic ones like this one this one's a little bit different because it has a movable cuff and I haven't been doing much jump rope lately because I'm more, more trying to get my weight in line but I think that's going to be happening in the next week or so maybe tomorrow I'm on call this week I hate being on call that's a whole different story in any case, I just want to get get you a quick look at this. And once again, you see my two <laughs> my two scales, which means I never know exactly how much I weigh. But I'm weighing at around 200, and I've been stabilized there, and I've been using my calories to keep my weight basically stable because I don't want to get much below that. Probably anything between 190 and 205, I'm fine at. But uh, you know, now I just got to work on just getting some build up some muscle and getting some structure to my weight loss all right this is this is basically with this and with the earlier video I got showing you the the, the four prong technique I have the 10,000 is one exercise 20,000 is a second exercise 30,000 is three exercise this is all steps and then I do a fourth exercise which will probably be this aerodyne bike and there's also a pink bike in here. Didn't know it was pink when I bought it. Don't give me crap. Uh, that I've been using prior, but basically I've been using this one mostly now because I can, you know, increase my speed, etc., and sort of use the aerodyne or uh, the uh, propeller quality via the aerodyne blades to increase resistance by increasing speed. All right, I just want to give you a quick rundown. That's basically the state of my fitness equipment. I've got good fitness equipment, I'm all in storage, I've got to go back and get it, but that's in the future.